friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be trying some TikTok hacks to see if they actually work. Apparently people are saying in the new iPhone box there is a hidden compartment that has a free case. So they have to crack open the box. So you're telling me under the section where they give you the charger and the wire, whoa, you got a free case. I'm not believing it because no way Apple is that generous to give you a free case with your iPhone. I gave in and bought the new iPhone specifically for this hack. Not really, my old one was messed up. The screen kept freezing, it ran out of space. Why box open funny? Oh, okay, remove the wire, remove my Apple stickers. You're telling me there's a case under this. In the two and a half days that I had this phone without a case, I've dropped it enough to chip it several times. Every time I put it in my pocket, it falls out. So, a case would have been really nice. It doesn't look like there's a case under here. I'm gonna... <gasps> there's cardboard! What? Where iPhone case? Is this it? Is this the case? Because I'll put it in. <laughs> cardboard case. This is very badly made. That's it. Whoever made this up, y'all are liars. Doubled my bikini collection yet again. She just made a bikini top out of underwear? What? No way, that actually looks really cute. Two bottoms make a top? It came out so good. There's no way I got two bottoms that would look good together. I feel like I'm gonna do this wrong. I've never worn these. Can you tell? So this is supposed to go like that. I don't know if this is gonna work. Do you hear this dog? Oh, okay, 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 I did it right. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I feel like I'm stretching these out. This is another one. Things like this make my head hurt. I don't know how it's gonna... <laughs> Hold on a second. Did I do it right? Oh! Okay, now... Well, darn, this ain't coming off. Do you like my bathing suit? What's good, buddy? Uh, it actually looks pretty good. Two bottoms make a top. Okay, you know what? This is actually a really good hack. It's sturdy. If you draw with a pen and use a lighter, you can erase the pen marks. It's gone. But how? An eraser for pen? No way. So the only paper I have in my house is a bill from the AC company for $2,000. But I do have pens. So I'm gonna take a pen, scribble. Maybe I should draw something. Draw a little doogie. Or maybe it's a cat. This is a black pen also. Okay, this is my masterpiece. I hope you like it. I'm gonna destroy all the evidence of it. <laughs> I'm starting to think this isn't gonna work and it's just gonna set the paper on fire. <laughs> I thought it would work! How does this not work? Hello? Hello? Delete my ugly picture from existence. Does it have to be a special kind of pen? If you want more pens, I got more pens. I'm gonna try a different kind of pen. A ballpoint pen. It literally does not work. Explain this, TikTok. Please erase it. I don't understand. What a scam. I feel cheated and lied to. I brought out my good pens for this too. Try this sauce trick when you go out next time. So they took the little thing of soy sauce that they give you, crossed some sauce, and then just spun it around into that. No way. If I do this, it's gonna spill everywhere. I don't have the luxury of recording this at a restaurant. And the only thing I had that was similar was a hand painted dish that I hand painted myself. Check out the snowflakes on that bad boy. So I'm hoping it'll swirl in a similar fashion. So I'm gonna use soy sauce. Fill this bad boy up, hopefully it doesn't damage the paint. If it damages the plate, it will also damage my ego. This is the best thing I ever painted. As much as I wanna just like squirt it at the bottom, I'm gonna put on a spoon. I didn't know you could buy legit mayo ketchup. I thought you had to make it. It was basically Big Mac sauce. Oh, I don't think this is gonna do the same thing. It seems too thick. I'm gonna squeeze it in. Oh, gassy today. Okay, this isn't gonna work. It's not gonna work, and I just ruined my plate for this. And then you're gonna... <laughs> no! It's so ugly. There has to be a specific kind of sauce that you put in the soy sauce. How am I supposed to know what kind of sauce they put? Anyways, I'm spinning it. Ruined my plate. Soy sauce is probably gonna dye it. This is a mess. It's like some dehydrated SpaghettiOs. I don't like it. It looks disgusting. It smells disgusting. I don't think this is gonna work. Good news, I rinsed off my plate. It is smelly, but like new. <laughs> When your upper back hurts and then you do this stretch. What? I've never done this stretch before. So you're gonna take your hands, put them like this, firm grasp on your noggin, and just... That's a good stretch, but where is the crack? I want the crack. Woo! I stretched 
stretch the part of my back I have never stretched before. It's like the middle of your back. That's weird. Very good stretch. But where crack? That's good crack. I love to crack. The legal kind. They made it. toaster garlic bread. You told me this whole time I could have made garlic bread in my toaster, but how without the mess? You take a slice of bread. Oh, you slice the slice of bread in half. Oh, so it creates like a pocket. A bread book. Put some butter, garlic salt, and then insert it uncut side down. <laughs> you like your bread cut or uncut. And then when it pops out, it's perfectly toasted. <gasps> And then garlic bread on the inside. No way. No oven necessary. I'm very excited for this hack because I am hungry. I'm gonna find the fattest slice of gluten-free bread that I can find. That's a girthy one. You must be extremely careful and slice the slice of bread in half. Why the knife ain't cut? Why is this crust so hard? Very naughty. I gotta use gluten-free bread because I'm allergic. I'm sure this will be way easier with regular bread. It was rough, but we got it done. Take some butter. Does this look expired to you? Because it might be. Fat, generous serving. Very difficult to spread cold butter. <laughs> this is falling apart. You know what? I don't like the crust anyway. And then some good old garlic powder. This one got everything in it. Okay, it's ugly, but I'm gonna pop this in the toaster, normal side down, and hope it doesn't fall apart. I ain't never put anything but bread inside this toaster. I will be constantly checking. Ooh, okay, there is a problem. Ah! A modern problem requires a modern solution. Oh, we got it out. But it was cutting it close. It smells very delicious. It's toasted, it's garlicky, it's buttery. I can do without the crust. I'm gonna take a bite. Cause the taste is all that matters. Mmm, that is very delicious. And it's cheese. I like cheesy garlic bread. Man, that's pretty good. That's very good. If I'm eating the whole thing, you know it's good. What is that contraption? Shoved it into the fruit, stuck a toothpick in there, and wha-bam! You got a star-shaped fruit kebab. It's that easy? I don't know what this is. I got a cookie cutter. Will that work? Like, the finished product looks so cute. For this, I gotta prepare my melon. Ooh, that is a nice melon. Oh, see this? Best part, sweet melon. So I'm just gonna cut it in rings. Ooh, one ring, good enough. Two rings, even better. Such a nice bite. I'm gonna cut up my other fruit. Kiwis are very annoying to cut. There gotta be a better way. Yeah, I think this is too small for the kebab. Ah! It looks funny. There are two kinds of kiwis. Look at this one, so perfect. And then what is that? They came from the same pack, same village. So for this, I was gonna use a little cookie cutter, but the little cookie cutter ain't gonna fit. So I found this device. I know it looks scary, but it's from my previous hack video where I used it to cut out the inside of a pineapple. It's already got the stab tool, so I'm just gonna start stabbing away. I'm gonna use this side. <gasps> it worked. I made a perfect hole in the watermelon. Time to make a kiwi hole. Whoa, kiwi hole. That's pretty good. I'm gonna poke it through the strawberry. Got a lot of excess fruit. Don't worry, I eat it. Back in the watermelon, because the watermelon's very easy to make holes out of. <laughs> Holy watermelon. And I'm gonna continue to stab the fruit to make one epic kebab. Okay, now I'm praying this works. I'm gonna take the skewer and <laughs> stab it through. Please come out clean. It might need some help. I have to push this out somehow. Okay, this isn't coming out. I'm starting to panic. Ah! My fruit is stuck. Gonna need some assistance. This will not harm. Oh, oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Ah! It came out and it's perfect. Almost. All of you have suffered for a very good cause for the birth of this. Mm. The kiwi's not in season. Everything tastes better on a stick. And does it look cool? Yes. Is there probably a better way of doing this? Yes. Am I gonna eat it? Yes. For everyone that said it was cap, turn the thing around like this. Hey, that's, it up. that's illegal. <gasps> My little heart, that was loud. Okay, I get it. Like there's one side that the can opener is meant to be opened on. But if you open it the other side, it makes a super loud noise and a mess. I'd imagine you have to do it hard.
Ooh, I was gonna open it normally, but I realized, no, we cannot open this normally. We're gonna flip it. Turn it all the way around, 180, and then just, I'm scared to do this. <laughs> Is it going to be loud? I don't like very loud noises. It's not meant to be opened this way. Oh! Can't even get a good grasp on it. It's very difficult to do this with nails. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna scream, okay? I only have a can of Perrier, so don't ask me to whip out some Coke. Uh, well, that didn't work. Ka-chow! Congratulations, you just made yourself a drink hole. This is stupid. I hate it here. She did a messy bun hack, and she did it really slow, and Oh, it came out perfectly. It's the perfect bun. There's a technique to it. I thought you just you somehow just mess it up, put it up. You get lucky, it looks good that day. But no, there's a whole entire technique to it to get the same thing every time and make it look good. I feel like an idiot. My hair is extremely greasy. As soon as I'm done with this hack, straight to the shower for me. So you're gonna put it in once. I had to watch this like several times and I still don't understand. You're gonna cross it and then... What the does she do? She went like... <laughs> no, this is not what she did. So she put her hand like this through it. Okay, and then did a flip. And then, um. Not quite, but better. I don't know why these hand movements are so difficult for me to follow. At the end of it, and then just like. I think I did it. That's as close as I'm gonna get. I can't do it. I don't know. The way she flipped her hand and just, I've watched this so many times. And I have to like mentally prepare before doing this. Cause usually I don't look at the hacks when I'm doing them. But this one, I have to have it playing. And I still couldn't do it. I'm very bad at anything where I have to follow the directions. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one of these was your favorite hack and which one would you actually try. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click and subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.